Hello and welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Erin and I run the Petite Planner blog and YouTube channel. And today's video is my March 2019 plan with me video. I'm really super excited to share this one with you guys. You know, um, when you find one of those layouts and you do it and then you just, it's your favorite that's this one and I haven't had that happen in a long time and part of that maybe because there for a while I really lost my will to create I guess like I was just in this creative slump and so I was just creating pages that were simply for productivity which is great and I still continue to use my journal because of the benefits of that but I really missed the creative portion of it so it was kind of nice to have that inspiration and this inspiration actually comes from canines and calligraphy on Instagram. I found her picture on Pinterest and I just fell in love with the cover art. It was kind of minimalistic and simple, but it was really feminine and pretty and I really enjoyed it. Um, you're gonna see me take a lot of breaks during this, which I obviously had to include because this spread ended up taking me a lot longer. I ended up having quite a few more pages than I normally have in my plan with me spreads. Um, and I changed some things up so it took me a while and there were quite a few breaks in there so Moving on you just saw my cover page which again was inspired by canines and calligraphy on Instagram And now this is my calendar page I've been using my calendar for a couple months now as kind of like my editorial calendar for all of my blog posts and emails and YouTube videos and things like that so this one I wanted to make a little bit bigger. So in a Nuna, what I did was I spaced my calendar five um, inches. So each little block is one inch. So there's five on one page and then two on the other page. So the two on the right hand page are the weekend and then all the weekdays are on that left hand page. And then they are an inch and a half long and I really really love this and all I keep thinking about when I do this is I'm planning on switching brands and possibly moving to a smaller notebook um, when I'm done with this one and I'm just not sure I can do it I love the larger layout of the Nuna but their paper quality lately is just it's not where it used to be but anyways for this entire spread, I am using a combination of Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. Uh, for the white, you see I did use a Uniball Signo, but I don't use that very often except to cover up mistakes. And then I'm using a black Tombow for these thicker lines. I am also using a Tombow for one of the pink shades, a Crayola for one of the pink shades. Um, a Crayola for one of the greens and then a Ecoline brushable pen for another shade of green. So those are all the supplies that I'm using in this. I really liked the color scheme that I came up with. You guys that have been around a while probably know that I am a huge fan of pink. I pretty much only do like pink and pastel colored spreads. So moving on to my habit tracker this month. This is where it got really long. I did this little habit tracker that you break up a doodle and I explained it a little bit better in my habit tracker designs video which you can see at the top of the screen um, but I had to draw 31 of these flowers and it ended up taking a lot longer than I thought um, but I really enjoy it and I think it looks really really pretty and it is inspired by Bujo with Becky on Instagram she's the first one that I ever saw do a habit tracker that was broken down as like a doodle and each individual piece represents a different habit so this month I also changed up some of my habits because I had some that I was just doing every day anyways and so those are no longer things that I really need to track um, so I added this month instead of tracking my calories because that hasn't seemed to work to not binge eat and I just want to briefly mention this so this is real time right here this is how long it takes to draw each flower I think it's like 48 seconds um, but I added no binge eating to my habit tracker and this is hard for me to put out there because I value health and fitness so much but I while I haven't been professionally diagnosed I believe that I have a binge eating disorder and I tend to do really 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 well for like three or four days and then I will just sit and 
have like one cookie and then just say, oh, I blew it, now I need to eat 5,000 calories. So my big goal this coming month in March is just to be more mindful of my eating and I'm gonna just do that through some journaling and daily gratitude and taking time to be grateful for what I am giving my body and grateful for my body itself. So as I said, I just changed up a couple things. I don't really think I added too much other than that. I might've just changed up the wording on some of them too. Like instead of work, I changed it to more specifics of writing 500 words a day because work can encompass a lot of things like drawing on my iPad, but that's not really work. So <laughs> I decided to just be a little bit more specific there. Um, so then I'm showing you how I'm gonna color each of these in is if I were to fill in each habit for an entire day and that's just kind of like a key, I guess. And then this is where I stopped the evening before it was late, so I was drinking tea. And then today we are drinking coffee because it's bright and early in the morning before my kids get up. And this page, if you guys have been around a while, you've seen that I have done stats pages in the past. I had one that I titled accountability. So this one I kind of combined and I changed things again because I didn't really love last month. Um, so this one, the G and the A stand for goals and accountability. And so at the very top, I'm just gonna have this line graph where I will be able to track the hours of sleep I have and also my productivity on a scale of one to 10. And then the three boxes below that will also correspond with the days. So that's one through 31 horizontally. And then there are three boxes below that. So for each day, I will also be tracking my weight, my calories, and my mood. And for my mood, I didn't come up with a color, um, a color scheme for that. So I just wanna draw little faces in there kind of based on my mood because I've always found that the colors for me I end up in between somewhere and I don't really know what to put down and then I don't know as though I'm doing it right and it feels awkward and part of bullet journaling is finding things that don't have to feel awkward to you even if nobody else does it even if you're totally going against all the rules you just do it so then here at the bottom I decided to do my goals and my action plan and my plan for this is to break it down into just three large goals. Um, sometimes I overbook myself and um, set too many expectations and then when I miss those goals then obviously that brings me down and I don't like that. So we're going to try to change that this month by just focusing on three main goals and having a solid action plan for each. And here I'm also using that Uniball Signo. If you need a good white pen, these are amazing. I love them. They do run through ink pretty quick, but they're well worth it and they're not that expensive. So here along the top, I am just continuing on with my theme and I'm just doing these really simple flowers. So I'm back and forth between the flower that you see on the Habit Tracker page and then this little kind of rose doodle. So. I didn't really have one set flower because I don't stick to themes very well, but I've always done well with flowers and with pink. So here we are, coffee break, because it's morning and in the morning I drink coffee. So my next page is an entire page dedicated to gratitude. I think I discussed this in my February video. I am really focused on daily gratitude, but in February I only gave myself a very small space and it was just like one line. So for just a very brief, um, short sentence, not even a sentence really, just a statement about what I was grateful for. And each day I just kind of always feel like I have more to say. So this is a larger log where I'll be able to have some longer sentences and write a little bit more about what I'm grateful for that day. And I think that I will really enjoy it because I tried initially after the beginning of February, I just tried to move to a different journal and just write in it, but then I found I wasn't using it as often and I like to have everything in one place. So I figured that for March, I would just do a very large gratitude spread. So while I'm just drawing lines here, I wanna tell you guys about what I have coming up in March here on YouTube. So starting on March 1st, I will be releasing one new video a day and they are very short between like five and seven minutes doodle tutorials and they are beginner friendly. They are step-by-step -step from 
your pencil all the way to pen and eraser. So if you want to join in, just make sure that you subscribe and that you hit the notification. The videos will go out every morning at 8 a.m. And I honestly, I cannot wait because I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. We've got a big community already rolling on Instagram and in the comments on my blog, I will leave the blog post to how this is all gonna work and what the plan is down below in the description. Um, I hope you'll join me if you have been struggling to doodle or if you really wanna doodle or if you just wanna come have some creative fun. Like I said, it's only about five to seven minutes a day and there is a free workbook included if you head to that blog post that I will link in the description. So please head over and snag it and I hope you'll join me on March 1st. So the last spread that I am doing for March is my budget and bill tracker. My husband and I have really been focused on trying to be better with money because we haven't been very good with money in the past. Despite how much money we make, we always seem to spend just as much. So we've been really focused on limiting our spending and paying more attention to where we are spending money and also just keeping track of our bills. So this spread, I did a bill tracker last month. I didn't do it in my plan with me because I set it up later, but um, I did do one. But this specific circular spread is inspired by Life by W, so Life by Whitney. Um, she's on Instagram and she has a blog and I believe a YouTube channel. And she recently posted her bill tracker and it was circular and I loved the idea of it. So. The idea is that these are the dates and I have colored in the weekends, Saturday and Sunday in pink. And then I will draw little lines coming out of each date where I have a bill. And then I will also be doing the same and they will be color coded for income. So when we have income and when we have bills and that will kind of help me break up how we need to divide out our checks and our income so that we know where to spend. And then in the middle, I am estimating our income for the month of March as well as our bills for the month of March. And then I will also um, add those numbers up at the end to see how far off we were. And then I have my starting and ending balance there as well. And then I think I'm gonna do something with the bottom of this page as well, maybe break up our checks down there. I don't. I haven't quite figured it out yet. But then on the right-hand side, these are our budgets. And this is kind of based off of, I believe it's the cash flow system. My friend taught me about it and I haven't done it perfectly. You're supposed to actually take this money out of the bank and then put it like in envelopes and then that is all you would spend on that. So while I haven't stuck to the whole cash flow thing and actually taking the money out of the bank, we do keep track of all of our spending and we categorize it. And so I've broken it down into categories and then into the amount that I believe is a good solid budget for that category. So the categories I have currently are food, fuel, household, um, my personal allowance, and Chris's personal allowance, and then the kids, entertainment, emergency, and then this month we have a trip. So I added that in there because I just want to spend just a certain amount on it. I don't want to go crazy overboard because sometimes we do. We leave town and then we think that we need to eat out and we think we need to go and check out the latest shop or coffee shop so we'll try to keep our spending in check and ultimately all of this we are doing because this year we would really like to purchase a house and we just need to get our finances in order so i have i also have a blog post about this setup and i would be happy to leave the link down below if you're interested in budgeting or finances i'm not the greatest at finances but I'm definitely learning and I'd be willing to learn with you so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys hopefully on March 1st for 30 days of doodles